Seven years ago, we made the single biggest investment in clean energy in our history. Here are the results. In fields from Iowa to Texas, wind power is now cheaper than dirtier conventional power. On rooftops from Arizona to New York, solar is saving Americans tens of millions of dollars a year on their energy bills and employs more Americans than coal in jobs that pay better than average. We're taking steps to give homeowners the freedom to generate and store their own energy, something, by the way, that environmentalists and Tea Partiers have teamed up to support. And meanwhile, we've cut our imports of foreign oil by nearly 60 percent and cut carbon pollution more than any other country on Earth. How do we make technology work for us and not against us? especially when it comes to solving urgent challenges like climate change. Now we've got to accelerate the transition away from old, dirtier energy sources. Rather than subsidize the past, we should invest in the future. Now, medical research is critical. We need the same level of commitment when it comes to developing clean energy sources. But on issues of global concern, we will mobilize the world to work with us and make sure other countries pull their own weight. When we lead nearly 200 nations to the most ambitious agreement in history to fight climate change, yes, that helps vulnerable countries, but it also protects our kids. The money will save. The planet will preserve. That is the kind of future our kids and our grandkids deserve. And it's within our grasp.